One of the things that happens when courses are copied is things um, don't copy over exactly as we want. One of those things um, that's really problematic is the navigation. Now, this is a course I'm working on, but um, I'm going to show you another course. Uh, so I can show you, these are the default links that are in here. Um, some of them I hide, and then I need to add some. So one of the ones that I almost always add is a schedule link. So I create a page here in Canvas, and then this link, I create this link to link to that page. And you can see if I go down to pages and open that up and view all pages, there is a schedule page. So I create that schedule page. Now, when it uh, site is copied, it copies all the pages, so they're now on the new site, but it doesn't update these links. So when I, on this new site, if I click the schedule link, you'll see it goes to the previous semester or session, which is not what I want. I want it, I need it to work, right? I need it to go to the current semester. The problem is, I'll go back to the one I'm working on, that there is no way to update that link. I can't go in and delete the old URL and put a new URL in. It just doesn't, it's just not possible in Canvas. Um, so what I have to do is I have to remove that link out of the navigation and I have to create a whole new link. So the way you do that is go to settings down here and um, go to the navigation link. Now I already had it on so that's why it's there but normally it would default there and then you would click on it. And to delete that link out of the navigation I basically just have to make it not accessible. I can't actually delete, delete it. Um, you can see here, these are all the visible items over here in the menu. Um, and then below that are things that are there, but not visible to students. Um, and, and this is what I have done here. So, um, and there's other things that actually, I'm not really sure why, but there's other things like attendance and other things down here that don't show up here either. I guess these are just by default, they're always there, whether they're visible or not. In any case, these are the things that are not shown to students. Now, when you copy it, um, or let me say, go back a little bit. Let's go ahead and um, disable this. And a way to do that is just to click the little dots and tell it to disable. And what it did now is it moved it down here to the bottom of this list. Now the problem is that there is no way to delete these. There's no way to delete them um, from this list. So every semester you create a new schedule link, it gets added to this list. So what I like to do, and I didn't do it before, but I, I like to drag the old ones up away from the bottom and kind of group them so I know that they're quote unquote old schedule links. All right, so then I'm gonna save. So now I have no schedule link up here. So I need to make a new schedule link. Um, so what I would do is I would go then to pages and I would update the link, uh, update the page that copied. Um, so uh, if I go here, now I haven't updated this, but let's just, for fun, I am just going to, I'm gonna go at HTML uh, editor and just said uh, update this schedule. Um, I had it actually uh, linking to a Google schedule, but if you wanna just use a regular page, you know, with a table or whatever, which is what we usually do for the online classes. Um, in any case, uh, I would update my schedule and go ahead and save that. And this is the page now. And so what I need to do is I gotta create a new link to this page. So I'm gonna go up here and copy the URL. I just did a control C. And then I have to create that link. And I have to do that by going back to settings and then I'm going to go to something over here to the apps tab 
And in the Apps tab, there are three things. Um, we're going to use the Redirect tool, so I'm going to click that. And we're going to click the Add App button. This makes no sense. It's not really an app. I'm not really sure. I'm not sure why it works very weirdly. But in any case, this is how you add links to your navigation um, beyond the default links. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to type schedule in there again. If it's less confusing to you, you can also put like you know, the semester or whatever you want or session. But I'm just going to say schedule. Uh, and then w the weird thing is if you accidentally roll your <laughs> arrow or your cursor off the pop-up window, it disappears. But if, if that happens, just cl click add app again and it retains information. I'm not really sure why it does that. Um, but then I'm going to just paste that URL that I just copied in here. Now th this is really important. Uncheck that force, open a new tab, and check show in that course navigation. Uh, this makes it much less confusing if you make sure you click that because instead of adding it to the bottom section, it actually adds it to the menu right away and we don't have to drag it into the, the visible uh, item section. So I'm going to click Add App. And now, um, if it, you can't see it, which is also very disconcerting, but if you just reload the page, which I'm going to do, um, you can now, if you go down here, the visible, you now see it's down here on the bottom of the visible stuff, or just the menu. Um, and it's right here, right? So these are our visible, so it's now here. And we don't want it way down there because that's not very helpful. So I like to take put it right after the syllabus link. So I have to just click and drag it up there. All right, now make sure you scroll all the way down and click Save. And now you'll see it's where it's supposed to be. So I can go back home and click Schedule and it will now show the new page that we just updated and it's in the right semester. Very complicated, but it can be done. <laughs>